Since I retired, I've spent a lot of time reading. And what's really enjoyable now is that not, that I can read what I want, not what I need to read for my courses that I'm teaching. So it, it's kind of, it's very freeing. It's a, a release, you know, you can just pick a book that you want to read and read it, not have to worry about how this fits into the curriculum or what you're trying to, to teach in a given semester. And I, late, I've been reading a lot of biographies. I finished a biography of uh, Churchill. I finished a biography of uh, Napoleon. And lately, I've been working on this very thick, large book. It's a biography of U.S. Grant by, uh, he's really a journalist, not a historian, but he does an excellent job of writing history, Ron Chernow. And it's about a thousand pages. And I'm up to... Uh, 1864 in the American Civil War. And it's a, a very interesting book, and I would recommend it to anybody who likes to read uh, biographies, especially about American biographies and generals and the Civil War. Well, there's a lot of politics in it and questions about slavery and any number of things. So it's a, a good book, and I would highly recommend it. I haven't finished it yet. I'm not even half through. But that's not what I want to talk about. This isn't a book review. I want to talk about something that I came across as I was reading last evening that really struck me. And as to what to make of it, I'll leave that up to you. As I said, it's 1864. It's November. It's the time of the election. Grant is at his headquarters at City Point, uh, overseeing the conduct of the siege of uh, Petersburg and Richmond. The Civil War is coming to its climactic end. You know, Atlanta's fallen, Sherman's lost somewhere in the South, but he's headed towards Savannah. Thomas is dealing with Hood in Tennessee. Lincoln's up for re-election. He's running against a uh, Democrat, George McClellan, former general, who wants to basically bring the war to an end and probably end up with the preservation of slavery in the South through negotiations. But there's an election, and Lincoln is re-elected on November 8th. But what was astounding to me was, as I read, the returns to the election. Now remember, this is 1864. This is the 19th century. The fastest means of communication they have is, you know, telegraphy you know, dot, 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 dash, 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 that's it. On election day, Grant is, as I said, is at his headquarters at City Point. This is in the middle of the American Civil War. Now, what's astounding is that in the middle of our Civil War, we even had an election. Most states probably would have just put it off until the war was over, but we actually had an election and re-elected Lincoln. But what's incredible was, by midnight, Grant and his staff at their City Point headquarters are celebrating because the returns are in. They've been counted across the country, except for California. And it's obvious that Lincoln has won. Grant, in 1864, in the middle of a civil war, at his headquarters, with the benefit of telegraphy, knows that the election is over the same day, on November 8th, on election day. And here we are, as I record this, it's, I think, December 11th. And it looks like we pretty much know who's going to win, but it's not actually determined yet. And for weeks, they were counting and recounting votes in this election. How was it that in 1864, they could get this all done in one day? And here we are with the benefit of uh, the internet, you know, the media, satellite communications, and all the other things we have, counting machines. This is 1864. They're counting everything. Everything's, you know, written on a ballot and it has to be canned counted. And they got it done on election day in 1864 in the middle of a civil war. 
And we couldn't do that. Now, what are the implications of that? What does that say about our, our society, about our politics, about our systems of voting? Draw your own conclusions. But that's the reality. In 1864, in the middle of the Civil War, they could have a national election and wind it up on Election Day and celebrate it before midnight at a Lieutenant General Ulysses S. Grant's headquarters at City Point. He was celebrating with his staff. Let me know what you think in a comment. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Share it with your friends. Hit the notification button so you know when I post new videos. Subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, keep fighting.